very first song I did with somebody out of Dallas was Cottonmouth. He was just on there. Yeah, that's the very first song I did with somebody in Dallas was with, with the OG. How did you feel about it? I was excited as hell. You know what I'm saying? I, I really couldn't believe that I was doing a song with him. That's how I was at that time because, I mean, they was doing songs with Cash Money and shit. This was TMC. Yeah, know? this was in the 90s. He was fucking with screwing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. This is something, though. The music, man. Let's. I'm trying to get to this music because I know already that music means something to you. For sure. You, you, you live and breathe that music, sure. man. So you know the scene of the music and everything. Mm -hmm. So help me understand, um, when you when it comes to the music, um, who are you liking now, right now, in these days, like in Dallas? Oh, man. You know what? I've I been fucking around in Dallas for so long. You know what I'm saying? That I can go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? When I first, my very first song I did with somebody out of Dallas was Cottonmouth. He was just on there? Yeah, that's the very first song I did with somebody in Dallas was with, with the OG. How did you feel about it? I was excited as hell. You know what I'm saying? I, I really couldn't believe that I was doing a song with him. That's how I was at that time because, I mean, they was doing songs with Cash Money and shit. This was TMC. In, yeah, yeah, this was in the 90s. He was fucking with screwing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me to be on a song with him, man, I, I, I thought I had made it, bro. That's how it was wow. back then. You just had that type of respect that for him to even sit down and, and talk to me or, you know, be willing to do a song with me. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, you know, a kid in the candy store. How bro, was the real. process of that though? Like, um, like yeah, you, you. How did you even link that up? My partner Willie Will, uh, and um, shots out again to you know uh, Mike Grayson that I had uh, ran the label with. Uh, he actually did work with Ron C and Nemesis. You okay, know what I'm saying? Snake and all of. And he did. Uh, he actually uh, produced and recorded a lot of. Um, the Rally Boys okay, shit too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like back when they was working back in the day. So um, when I came through, uh, he was you know, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, boy, dope. And uh, Willie Will had the song with Cotton, you know what I'm saying? And they brought me to the studio and I just rapped. It's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? They put me on it. It was damn. just like that. Back then it was more... You had to show and prove, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna get on, if you're gonna get on a track with boys, you had to really be. Yeah, you had to be, be something it. special. You know what I'm saying? Back yeah. then, was he? What did? What did? Uh, when Kyle, how long? What was was the process long when y'all went to the studio? Mm -mm. You and, I was always ready. I knew all my raps before I got to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you gave me a beat back then when I was on rap like that, shit, man, I could so. do a verse. Like it ain't shit, cause I was. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to do nothing else. I asked my mom about a record deal when I was in like first grade. Wow. I always wanted to be an entertainer. Always. You know what I'm saying? So when you when, when you and Cottonmouth, y'all uh y'all y'all done the song. Mm -hmm. Did y'all do a video to it? Y'all mm -hmm. y'all mm -hmm. damn. Nah, we ain't do no video to it. But, and, but keep in mind, it wasn't my record. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was, it was, it was his was, record. It was the homies record. It was Willie really Will record. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Cool. And I, I was just happy to be a part of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you thinking, I'm like, at this time, I'm a teenager at this time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on a song with somebody who I'm riding, listening to, who I never thought I would meet. Yeah. And it's been like that for me a lot in my life. Like, I just been, you know, right place, right time with the right shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Even when I seen you had Bobo on here, you know what I'm saying? Like Bobo, shout out to that boy Bobo. My Lucci, connection, I know. My connection with Bobo, you know what I'm saying? I remember the bitch get up off me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember listening to that record, like, damn this shit hard. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, to go to uh the radio station when he had the radio show and they did the the pump of the dump it, I think it was, it's slamming the jam, you know, they yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And my record won the uh the pump it or dump it. And if you won, you got to come up there and do an interview and I ended up doing the intro for um the the shit and everything. Really? So my relationship go back with him like that, which is the he's Leo connection, you know what I'm saying? Wow. All of that. It's like it's just a big 
So big pot. You did the intro for Bobo Nim show for his radio show. So yeah. so uh, super tight. You know he started his own podcast. You didn't know that? Did you? I didn't know that. You gotta go on there, I man. Gotta go on there. Yeah, it's a, yeah yeah there. yeah. That's my boy, you man. We talk there. we talk daily. Actually, I probably call him tonight, man. He, I, he, it's nice too. You gonna like it? The OG I, I gotta know. get you on there. He know. I'm, he I'm know. gonna tell him. You, you know gotta get saying? show over he there, know. baby. He know. He gonna do it. And he know. You know when I when I said it is what it is. I ain't scared. I said what I said. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.